This experiment will use titrations to determine the solubility of calcium hydroxide at different temperatures in water. You will use this data to calculate the KSP and some thermodynamic factors. Each solution will be gravity filtered to remove the undissolved solid. The paper is wet with the solution The plastic wrap prevents crystallization at the surface due to evaporation. To filtrate, the solution separated from the calcium hydroxide solid is used to rinse the pipette. Then 5 milliliters will be removed using the pipette and added to an Erlenmeyer flask for titration. Phenolphthalein indicator and about 25 milliliters of water are also added. The other indicators could be used. The phenolphthalein turns magenta in the basic calcium hydroxide solution. The end point will be a faint pink. We will now titrate the calcium hydroxide with hydrochloric acid. Adding slowly and gently until we reach our end point. And now I'm going to let it. I can't. Going for a faint pink here. And so. It'll take a while. And if we have done a good job. The cooler temperature solution should be more soluble than the higher temperature. This is one of the things we have in chemistry called inverse solubility. Again, we'll use the values that we obtain here to determine the solubility product, to determine some thermodynamic quantities and the KSP a little later. And you add the titration material gently. You don't want to overrun the titration because it's difficult to back up. When you get close, you'll want that left hand out of the way. Yeah. So you happen to use your right hand. Yeah, well, hey, we do have problems sometimes. Small problems. Okay, we're getting close now. And there we are. Voila. Okay. We've just determined the concentration of calcium hydroxide by titrating, titrating with HCl. We know that one calcium hydroxide requires two HCl to neutralize it. So, to determine the number of moles of acid that are consumed, and we know that the number of moles of acid at equilibrium or at the end point is equal to the number of moles of base. So the volume of the acid times the molarity of the acid gives us moles. How many moles of calcium hydroxide are determined then by multiplying the, or the number of moles of calcium hydroxide over the units of HCl, then dividing by the total volume which was used, which was five milliliters or 0 0.005 liters. Coming down to calculate the KSP, first off, we determine the co concentration of each. For each calcium hydroxide, we have one calcium, but we see that one calcium for every calcium will take two hydroxides. Thus, we have to multiply the, cal the calcium concentration by two or divide the hydroxide concentration by two to get the calcium. Then we write the KSP as the concentration of calcium times the concentration of hydroxide, but since the coefficient of hydroxide is two, we will square that. This should give us then our KSP.